Is the $1.9 billion bonding bill is headed to Governor Tim Wall's desk. It is the largest bonding bill in state history, and our political reporter John Croman breaks down what it all entails. John. A bottleneck rail crossing in Coon Rapids will finally be untangled. The U of M will get its new chemistry lab building, and small communities across the state will get clean water projects. Just a sampling of the projects in the $1.9 billion infrastructure construction bill that cleared the Minnesota Senate. And a bonding bill takes both sides of the aisle. It takes Republicans and it takes Democrats. And it's a very hard thing to do, especially with the environment we see politically right now across the country. The bill also includes tax breaks for farm implements and business equipment. And there's extra money to pay overtime for state troopers who worked the Twin Cities riots. And there's money to keep the corrections boot camps in Togo and Willow River open. It's an investment in our future. It's an investment in our state. It's an investment in our people. Bonding Committee Chair Dave Senjum said even the writing on the walls of the Senate chamber reminded him it's part of their job. It says here, develop the resources of our land. That's capital investment. That's what this bill is all about, developing the resources of our land. Now, it was interesting because a lot of people didn't think this could happen this close to an election, but the senators today and the House members who voted for it last night kind of recognized the need to do something uh, because of the COVID pandemic and just the basic need to get people to work on these public works construction jobs. Back to you.